Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And this uh, video has to do with um, uh, subconscious symbolism, a topic that I've explored many times in the past in other blogs. Uh, this particular um, metaphor or image of the subconscious mind has to do with a learned experience, maybe from first love or early childhood. Uh, the experience being uh, women break my heart. Women are heartbreakers like that. Um, women, yeah, break, break my heart. They're heartbreakers. So, so sometimes when that happens, first love and like that, it's, the experience is just so devastating. It's very difficult to get past, you know, that first love feeling. Uh, if it doesn't continue into a mature relationship, can be very, uh, very, um, you know, it can destroy our hope of having an unconditionally loving relationship in the third dimension, in physical reality. So, uh, and so, it can be repaired, yes, but we have to first get rid of this subconscious symbolism, which will continue to crop up in our dream world and uh, in our uh, actions in the real world by by um, playing out the metaphor that women are heartbreakers. And then uh, in, in, uh, in the uh, subconscious mind, in the realm of the lower mental body, what it seems like is, um, is it's actually a physical image of a woman breaking a man's heart. That's what's going on there, that the heart is actually broken. The, the physical heart is broken. So as time goes on, uh, this, this continued like habit of a metaphor can create heart problems of various kinds. Uh, and as easily be re those, can those heart problems be removed if we, um, if we can get rid of the metaphor. So, so the thing that was happening uh, uh, just recently in that regard is first, I've, I've had a number of presentiments of, of things cropping up recently. And just here in September of 2016, the light, input of the light has been absolutely spectacular and highly unpredictable, often for me, un uh, unstabilizing my electromagnetic field and making changes of uh, mysterious and gigantic proportions that I can't figure out at all for the good. So uh, I had a presentiment. I had a presentiment regarding a particular person uh, that I don't know that's just someone that I've observed uh, from time to time. And this person, um, I felt that this person's life would be in danger on that particular day. And I felt that I might have something to do with endangering that life. And I wanted none of it, you know, because I, I respect all life and, it, and uh, I hold it in the highest regard. And so, so I was sitting in, in a situation where that person was also, you know, in, uh, in that area, that general area. And, uh, and, uh, an energy came into the back of my heart from other people in another city, and uh, or just from that city, maybe, yeah, uh, where there is a lot of this kind of energy of like backbiting energy and uh, betrayal energies and uh, energies of wishing people were dead and dragged down to hell and stuff like just very dark, deep energies that were clearing that day from Earth. And so this energy entered the back cone of my heart chakra and the intention placed there was that I would, um, I would cause this person to have a heart attack. And I noticed it at the energy and the newospheric intention as it came in. And I called on all the saints and angels and my ascension team and God himself and asked that this energy be contained and transformed through my heart chakra. And by God's grace, it was. So at, at the very least, I am out of that situation. And with luck in the coming times, we'll have an answer, a code and, and a 
moment of remembering the uh, the DNA change or the transformation of light, the change in the etheric net and in the electromagnetic field that will remove that uh, inconsistency, the notion of women are heartbreakers from our energy fields and those of all humankind. So I'm saying a little prayer for that and if I find out anything I'll let you all know.